Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Chandana, pursuing 5th semester in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at Shivankateshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. Subject Research Methodology and IPR with the subject code BRMK557. And today I am going to discuss about the topic Knowledge Flow through Citation. Introduction to Knowledge Flow. Citing is the practice of quoting from, referring to the other authors, works and ideas in the text of a work in such a way that context is clear to the reader. Referencing is the listing of full publication details of a published work that is cited so as to give a background information to the readers. So citations means reference credit other for their work while allowing the readers to trace the source publication if needed. Knowledge flow refers to the movement and sharing of information and ideas within a community. It, it plays a critical role in the advancements of science, technology and humanities. Citations are fundamental instruments for facilitating the flow through linking the sources of knowledge. Importance of citations. Citations provide a mechanism to credit original authors for their work and ideas. They enhance the credibility of research by allowing readers to verify sources. Citation also create a network of knowledge that can be explored for deeper understanding. So this is how the citation look like. So citations can be found in two places in in-text citations and references list or bibliography. So in the research paper, we can find these citations. So that means references. So in the in-text in citation, we just represented the sources or references are like this and in the reference list or bibliography we just extend and we just expand uh, the references by their uh, title and the page numbers and the volumes and the author of the references so this is how the citation can be represented role of citations in research citations help researchers identify gaps existing literature and new inquiries and they allow researchers to build upon previous work and fostering cumulative knowledge. Proper citation practices enhance the integrity and reproducibility of research findings. So the citations in research paper uh, and the in-text citation we represented as the author name and the information we, where we got the information, the page number we represented in the parenthesis in the in-text citations. Mechanisms of knowledge flow. Knowledge flow through citations occurs in formal and informal networks. Formal networks include academic journals and conferences where citations are commonly used. Where these journals and conferences we will get uh, through IEEE Explore. You can just check out any other websites but IEEE Explore we are going to find the standard journal journals and the conferences. And informal network encompasses blogs and social media where citation may be less structured but still impactful. Knowledge flow through citation. Knowledge flow through verbal communications, books, documents, video, audio, images which plays a powerful role in research community in promoting the formulation of new knowledge. In engineering research, knowledge flow is primarily in the form of books, theses, articles, patents and reports. Citing a source is important for transmission of knowledge from previous work to innovation. Production of knowledge can be related to citation network. Knowledge flow happens between co-authors during research collaboration, among other research through a paper citation network, also between institution, department, research fields or topics and elements of research. So relationship between citation, knowledge flow and elements such as research, papers, publication or conferences and the institutions. So this is a pictorial representation of citation based knowledge flow. So if paper A is cited by paper B, then knowledge flow through citation network across institutions. So the complex interdisciplinary nature of encourages scholars to cooperate with each other to grab more advantages through collaboration, thereby improving quality of research. So 
institution one are the authors of author k and u and institution two author t and author i by the paper paper a and paper two so the paper a is general x and paper b is general y so general x is a research topic one and research topic two so here from uh, author k author u and author t and uh, author i so there will be a transfer of a knowledge flow of from the institution one and the institution two so this is how the knowledge flow through the citation network can be uh, transferable from uh, institution one and the institutions two so another example for citation based knowledge flow three articles x y and z have five references x1 x2 x3 and y1 and y2 of article x and y respectively and a b c are authors of article x and d e f g and also a authors of article y and z also the article z has two authors that is h and e so references x1 x2 x3 y1 and y2 are authors of a p h r d q b f and r respectively so based on co authorship citation network references x1 y1 are considered self citation and the references x3 is level 1 co author citation because author of article y is direct collaborator with article a and the references X2 is a level 1 co-author network so because author A is collaborator of E and O collaborated with H so we can conclude that paper which frequently cite collaborate with often col uh, citation collaborations so the collaborations certainly impact cite citation counts also best practices for effective citations so always verify the accuracy of your citation so before submission or publication and familiarize yourself with the citation style required by your academic or professional field keep abreast of updates and changes in citation guidelines to maintain compliance so in text citations we just mention the name uh, the author name as well as a uh, way we got the information the page number but in the references list that is bibliography we just mention all the details of author and whether it is journal and on which year this journal is published we just mention in the reference list or the bibliography so you can download the research paper from many websites but uh, just go with the authorized website like ieee explore so i am going with the ieee explore so where you can just type the research paper type topic or the title and you will get a lot of generals and the conferences and you can download that research papers and you can put it in the literature survey of your research papers and you will get a doi number so you can copy that doi number and you can add it in your bibliography and you can add it in the in text citation also about the author and the page numbers and where you got the information the page number as well you can just add it in the research paper challenges in citation practices so if you just copy the wrong doi number and uh, wrong research name and the title and the spelling mistake in the author name so which lead uh, to the misinformation and intellectual dishonesty and the she volume of information can overwhelm researchers complicating proper citation and there is an ongoing need for education on ethical uh, citation practices and standards impact of digital technologies or uh, the internet has transformed knowledge flow by making research more accessible and digital platforms facilitate immediate citation and rapid dissemination of information and online citation management tools streamline the process improving accuracy and efficiency future trends in knowledge flow emerging technologies such as ai and blockchain are reshaping citation practices so open access publishing is promoting wider dissemination and accessibility of research so some of the research papers are not open so you, you can we can just open that research paper by using the sky hub website so you can just copy the reference title or doi number and you can just copy that and we can just access uh, that research papers 
and uh, future citation system may evolve to include dynamic real time references that adopt over time knowledge flow through citation is vital for the progression of academic discourse and effective citation practice contribute credibility and reliability of scholarly work and by understanding and improving citation methods we can enhance the overall flow of knowledge thank you please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos like this thank you